It's been a rallying cry of protests over the last three weeks, as well as in recent years, when people of color have been killed in police incidents. But this time, the Black Lives Matter call is different. At a certain point, you have to decide whether your house needs a total renovation, or if you need to move someplace. You have to look and go like, okay, are we selling this place? Are we tearing it down and starting over? We're at that point. Jamal Joseph is not only a department chair at Columbia University and filmmaker and poet, he's also an author, and his book, Panther Baby, is about his many years as a member of the Black Panthers, the revolutionary socialist organization founded in the 1960s. But Joseph says that to get a better idea of what protests now are about... Sixties is where it's worth looking. Slavery, man's inhumanity to man, and the whole thing about people fighting for humanity right now. That's what I think this moment is about. He said that abolitionists, blacks and whites, who together fought for decades to bring slavery to an end, were like today's nationwide protesters. You're seeing um, white people and Asian folks and brown folks and black folks all together crying out about injustice, but also there's a deeper cry, and it's about man's inhumanity to man. He specifically said that for the Richard Brooks killing in Atlanta to happen now is why police departments nationwide need to follow the example of Camden County, New Jersey, which dismantled and hired and completely retrained new officers. This video of how Camden cops handled a knife-wielding man, Joseph says, shows what needs to happen. Walked with this man for five blocks. And the only time that they were using their sirens or anything was not to pin him down, but to get other people to move out the way. And again, he says that this, what we're experiencing now, is a vital new chapter in an ongoing story of equality in the United States. Does that story have a happy ending? His point is, it is a long, ongoing story. Reporting live from Washington Square Park, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.